Hey guys, welcome back to SP Channel. Today I'd like to talk about the Higgs boson, the God Particle. Why is the God Particle called the God Particle? Why is it important? Um, I'd like to talk to you about that right now. Let's get some things out of the way about the Higgs boson. The Higgs boson was confirmed to exist on July 4th, 2012 by CERN. Now, with the confirmation of the Higgs boson, that leads a lot of credibility to the theory of the Higgs field. Now, the Higgs field is a theorized field in which energy interacts with the Higgs field, which is supposedly believed to permeate the entire universe, much like space-time, much like dark energy, the Higgs field. It's there. It's everywhere. So energy interacts with this Higgs field, right? And energy becomes physical matter, and that's how mass comes into creation in the universe. This is why when you look out into outer space, even though it, you know certain parts of it appear empty, if you were able to really microscopically look, the universe is littered with particles everywhere, almost everywhere. It's called the God Particle because when energy does interact with this Higgs field, physical mass comes into being. If we could control and harness the power of the Higgs boson or the Higgs field, we could tell the Higgs field what kind of physical matter to make out of the energy. We could just tell it, we could use it in a way, it's like, well, you know, we don't want dirt or rock, we want gold or platinum out of this, make gold or platinum out of that energy. If you can harness the power of the Higgs boson, you can make any atomic element that you want. Now, see, here's the thing, the, the Higgs boson is an elementary particle. It does fall into this group that is a, a group of fundamental fermions known you know, as quarks, liptons, antiquarks, and antiliptons. Those are generally uh, matter particles, but you have antimatter fundamental particles. You know, uh, the Higgs boson is an antimatter fundamental particle. I guess you could call it that, antifermion. If we could harness the power of the Higgs boson, harness the power of how much energy we put through it, how much energy we apply, how we apply that energy, we could basically create any kind of physical matter we chose to create. Whether this be food, whether this be medicine, whether this be some sort of a rare type of element, it would change the world. Uh, it wouldn't be strictly limited to non-biological either, you know, even biological we could create. It would be an incredible evolution in human technology and understanding when we master the Higgs boson. This is why it is called the God Particle, because we can basically take a small amount of energy and create anything we want out of it, any kind of atomic compound or structure anyway. You could see how it would just be as simple as, you know, understanding the Higgs boson to turn energy into any kind of physical matter we wanted, and then having some machine to use that physical matter to create our object for us. So yeah, that's why the Higgs boson is called the God Particle, that's why scientifically it is so important. I encourage anyone who's interested to read up more about the Higgs boson and the Higgs field. You can hit up Wikipedia. They've got some nice articles there. Antimatter is a nice subject to study on as well uh, when you're studying the Higgs boson. I didn't mean for this to be a very long video, guys. Um, I've got plenty of other projects I'm working on. I'm trying to keep everyone entertained. If you like these videos, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I appreciate it.